All right, welcome back. In uh, this session, we're going to be learning how to do the how to use basically a few different things actually from creating a rectangle all the way to helix. Okay, so we've learned the line so far. We've learned the circles, and now we're going to be learning different uh, shapes. Uh, you won't be using most of them that much, but it is good to know how to use most of them. Let's get started by the easy one. Let's go to create a rectangle. Okay, and we create a rectangle. Like I said before, you can. Um, have the option to set up where the start points at if you want it to start at a certain point now for practice purposes let's always start at the origin okay so you can learn it um, learn how to use it a little bit so over here you have the width and on the right side you have the length so say I want a two inch by four inch rectangle if I click on that it's gonna give me that shape okay now if I click on this option right here anchored to center that's gonna give me the center of the rectangle Okay, if also come over here and I click on create surface, that's going to give me divide the rectangle into four parts. So if I click on this, I'm sorry, even more than that, uh, I believe it, there, you know, it divides them uh, per inch. So there's like one, so it's a two by four, you know, so there's, you know, it gives it like 16 um, different squares. Okay, so it divides every square um, in into, into four squares. So this option is not really used that much unless you really need to draw uh, a lot you know a certain geometry that uh, has a lot of very basic uh, you know everything is one inch from each other or two inches from each other something very basic like that I, I normally uh, never use it but it's good to know okay so that's how you do a create a surface and then creating an arc the center okay um, so let's go to the next one come over here and click on create rectangular shapes and in this one uh, let's say this is the length of it, the width and the height. So there's like, so say I want another two by four. Okay. I want to give it a radius. So let's say the radius for it is 0. 0.5. Okay. Now when I click enter, it's the same as clicking apply. It's going to actually give me the shape of it. Now let's go over here and I'm, I can select the shape of the rectangle. So say I want that to have a radius in there. Okay. And that's what that indicates. And I want the anchor to be the center. Now I can select left. I can select top left, top, I mean top right. So this is top left right now. And let's say I want to anchor it right here. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to put fit the screen so you can see it better. And it gives me the shape that I asked for over here. Okay. Um, let's go exit this. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to uh, create polygon. Okay. It's a polygon, regular polygon. Uh, you basically tell it how many sides you want. Let's say I want six sides and then you tell it what radius you want that side to be. So let's say I want a two inch polygon. So come over here and click and you'll see your polygon. Now you're, you're, you're not done from this option until you click on OK or the check mark. So there's a difference between for a corner and flat. Corner means the radius of the circle is on the outside of the polygon and flat means uh, th that this r circle is on the inside and that makes a difference so the polygon basically will be extended out you need to know that and you know know what you're picking um, before you start machining if you pick the wrong one um, and for example this one and start and, and think that there's a circle over here and it's not going to hit anything and then your tool ends up hitting one of these edges or end up crashing one of these, one of these edges um, obviously that is a problem okay so this is how you draw a polygon. Click on OK to exit that and create your polygon. Come over here to create a polygon. Let's go to create ellipse. Okay. Same thing over here. Let's say I want a two by two and I want nerves. If I click on here, it's going to create a circle. Now, if I click on the edge of the circle and then tell it where I want the second circle to be, say I want right here. First, first edge, I'm sorry, and then the second edge right here, that's when it draws my ellipse, okay? So that you, you have to select two points whenever you're doing your ellipse so it can create your ellipse for you, all right? Click on OK to exit that. Come over here and then create, you can do a create um, bounding box, okay? Now this bounding box basically goes around your edges. You can set how many you want it to expand zero and X and Y and Z. You can uh, give it a shape, you can do cylindrical, or you can do uh, rectangular. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. Cylindrical it will not show the top and bottom edges, uh, where uh, rectangular will show only the top and bottom edges. Okay, You can do stock, so you can show up 
um, so it can cover everything that you have. You can uncheck line arcs and check line arcs. Uh, those are the points, so the four points. So you have those selected. Uh, okay. And that's how you create a bounding box. So this bounding box will be around all your... Um, so after you create everything, you, you, you place a bounding box to see basically like how much area that's taking. Okay, so but, you know how much stock is it going to be, for example. All right, so come over here again, and let's go to the next one is create letters. That's an easy one. So you can say anything that you want. So you can say master cam lathe x6 video tutorial. And then you can select the alignment. You can, it can be vertical, horizontal, top arc, uh, bottom arc, top chain. You know, let's say, let's keep it at horizontal. You can select the font as well. And you can say the height. The height is one inch and the spacing between letters is 0.2. Okay. So then you can select OK and come over here anywhere you want and click on, click on it and it will show everything. So I'm going to go over here back again to fit the screen. And it will show everything for me. So Master Cam Lathe X6 Video Tutorial. All right. So again, let's go over here and then come down to Create Spiral. So this is a nice little feature. Uh, to create a spiral, it will give me the option. So I've already put all these options in. And if I actually move to the right, it will give me my spiral. I can click and it will place it for me. So this spiral, I want the final pitch. So this is between here and here to be one inch. The whole spiral to be 10 revolutions with 15 inch height. Okay, and then initial pitch distance between them two is two inches. Okay, so that's how it creates all of this for me. And then I got an initial pitch of six between the first and so the beginning from right here to here, you know, and then the end to be 0 0.1. So the ending between here and here uh, is 0 0.1 inches. And the radius between the center and the first pitch is one inch. Okay, so I go apply and okay. And then next, let's go to, to uh, creating a hel helix. And it's the same as basically uh, creating a uh, spiral, but only one dimensional, basically. Because this one, you have more options. And this is just saying, hey, this is the spiral. It's going to be that many revolutions, 10 revolutions, height of an inch, radius of an inch. I want 0.1 inch pitch and a 45 degree angle. And you can switch it to be counterclockwise and clockwise. And same with the spiral and then place it wherever you like. Okay, I'm going to press on OK. And this concludes uh, this session. Uh, we learned how to create rectangles, polygons, spirals, helixes, and how to place letters into MasterCam.